Hi everyone, how are you doing? And uh, welcome to Capital Center 5. Today I'm very excited because I'm gonna shoot a video that I've been waiting to shoot for a long time that a lot of you have asked me to do. So this video is about how to do a home setup for practicing for your bench exam. And it's a great time to do this now because we're all stuck at home anyway and uh, you can spend it productively. So the first thing that you'll need is a farm table something on which you can set your mounting pole and you want to choose a spot in your house where there's a direct power outlet because the compressor needs to be plugged in directly to the power source and not through an extension cable so wherever that spot is in your house is your spot uh, and the other thing that you'll need is a rolling chair rolling chair is preferred uh, mostly because it mimics how you'll be working in the school during your bench exam it allows you to see different kinds of positions which works best for you and practice in that uh, I know it's very difficult to go out shopping right now but you can check a Facebook marketplace or Walmart may, might have something so that's about a rolling chair and then the other things that you can buy online are compressor the compressor that most of us use is the California Air Tools compressor you can find it on Amazon um, it's very small, it's quiet and it's portable it's only around $95. It's a great compressor. You can use that for all your preparations. Um, you can also get a dental turbine unit from Amazon as well. It's available for around $60 to $70. The tricky part is connecting the compressor to the dental turbine unit because you'll have to buy a small connector from a hardware store. It should be available uh, in stores like Home Depot, Harbor Freight Tools if you're in the US or any hardware store for that matter, um, you can just take the tube that they provide you with, with the compressor and just take it to the hardware store and find a connector that fits it. So the way to connect these two, a good video that's out there is uh, by Dr. Tools. Um, it's a very simple demonstration on how to connect it so you should, you should watch that when you're connecting it. And then you need to have a mounting pole because it's very important to mimic the patient situation you always have a mounting pole in these dental schools. If not, they have it mounted to a dental chair. So practice in that vision, that's very, very important. That's something that every dental school looks for to see if you're comfortable with that. So keep practicing that. You can get mounting poles from Amazon for around $80. Um, if you're looking for a great mounting pole, um, you find you can find one in Stevenson Mill Solutions. It's a bit pricey though. It's around um, $180, but it's a good mounting pole. And then you need a typodont. So this is another burning question where students ask me, which typodont should I start with? There are so many different kinds of typodont out there. Um, the three important typodonts that most schools use are Kilgore, Columbia, and Academical. I would suggest start off with Kilgore. The reasons are the tooth texture, it's very soft and it's kind of brittle. So you kind of get used to your you know, your hand control so that you don't cut too much of the structure. But if you start working in Columbia, uh, my assumption is that Columbia, to, you know, it's really hard compared to Kilgore or Academical. So you're, you might be a little too aggressive if you had to work with Kilgore or Academical for any specific school. So it's always good to start off with Kilgore. And if you get invited to schools like Loma Linda that uses only Columbia or SIU that uses only Academical, then you can buy those typodonts as and when required. Always buy typodonts and replacement teeth through students or um, in dental stores, in websites like Dr. Tools or Stevenson Dental Solutions. Not from eBay or Amazon because they sell fake teeth. Uh, their texture is very different. They tend to fracture off when you're trying to do a class two. Um, it's just not ideal and if you get used to that kind of teeth then it's going to be very difficult for you when you go to uh, the bench exams in different schools. So you want to keep that in mind and then you want to have a hand, a hand, hand piece, uh, definitely a high speed hand piece and uh, slow speed is optional. I would recommend probably just the friction grip uh, slow speed so that you can smoothen out your preparations whether it's a class 2 or a crown prep. It's not required but it's something that you could use and most schools do provide you with a uh, slow speed handpiece. 
so you can make your traps look pretty and uh, you can obviously use that to smoothen out the bulb the floor as well when you're doing um, a fast tube. But the slow speed also needs an air motor, just keep that in mind. Um, you can get basic hand pieces which start off with around 30 or 40 dollars. Uh, it goes all the way to about 500 dollars depending on the quality of the hand piece. You do find uh, value packs in Steel's and Mill Solutions website, so check that out. You could find something there. Don't buy them off of Amazon or eBay. I, I don't recommend that. Maybe from dental students on Facebook, that should be okay too. So apart from that, you, sh you need to uh, start working with hand instruments. That's very important to create accurate preparations. Um, something basic that you want to work with is an enamel hatchet. Make sure you get something from Brassler or Hufridi and keep them sharp. Have a sharpening stone to sharpen it. Uh, as you all know, a blunt knife can cause more harm than a sharp knife. So just make sure that you work with sharp hand instruments. Um, other hand instruments that you can experiment with are gingival marginal trimmers or fangle chisels, but they're not important, they're not required. Off angle chisels I like to use because they give me access to different areas of the mouth, but um, it's not something that most schools provide you with. But an animal hatchet, you can provide, you can find it in all your instrument kits. So practice with doors. I'm going to make a separate uh, video for burrs on what bur you can use on different teeth. Um, it, it's all your preference mostly. But, you know, dental schools, some of them allow you to bring your own instruments, some don't. So you want to practice to the point where you can work with whatever they give. So let's talk more about that in a different video. These are some of the basic things you want to have to start off by working. But if you do have any specific questions to create your home setup, then feel free to email me. I will, I will reply as soon as I can. <laughs> And uh, let's see, do I have anything else to talk about? I guess that's all we have today. Um, thank you so much for listening to me. I hope you all have a nice day.